The following video is presented by the Computer History Archives Project. The Zorba Personal Computer was produced by Telcon Industries of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Designed by George Cole, the first Zorba was marketed in 1983. This model had a 7-inch monochrome green CRT display screen. It had 64 kilobytes of RAM, utilized the Z80A CPU, running at 4 MHz. It came with two serial ports, a parallel port, COM port, and two floppy disk drives. It ran the CPM operating system by digital research. It sold for $1,595. The rights to the Zorba were eventually sold to Modular Computer for $5 million. Modular Computers used the ModComp logo and marketed the machines with some changes. Later, the Zorba line was sold to a company called Gemini Electronics of Longwood, California. The Gemini version of the Zorba shown here was available with a 9-inch screen on the right side and the two floppy disk drives on the left side. Gemini reduced the price significantly to $799. The sturdy design and versatility of the Zorba machines made them very popular with students professionals, and technology enthusiasts. It was also capable of running many different CPM software products, making it useful in a wide range of applications. The Zorba was one of the last CPM machines and entered the market when other CPM machines had already grabbed a foothold. This made competition difficult for the Zorba line. Competing machines included the Osborne 1, Osborne Executive, K-Pro 2, and many others. The Osborne 1 was designed by Adam Osborne and had been introduced in 1981. It had 64 KB of memory, a 5-inch screen, two disk drives, and a full-sized keyboard. Initially very successful, with over 125,000 machines sold, the company experienced marketing and other problems and filed for bankruptcy in September 1983. It emerged again in 1984 with the Osborne Vixen but it never gained significant market share. The K-Pro 2, available in 1982, was also a CPM machine. It used an all-aluminum case and was one of the heaviest portables at about 29 pounds. It came bundled with software for about $1,795 and became very popular at the time. IBM's dominance in the computer field gave its personal computer a large potential customer base right from the start. The introduction of the compact portable PC that was almost fully compatible with the IBM machine caused a shift away from CPM machines towards DOS-based machines from 1983 onward. Even with a relatively short production run, 1983 to 1984, many Zorba machines survive to this day. Zorba maintains a dedicated base of followers who keep the legend and the systems alive and well. The following slides show much of the internal design and component layout of the Zorba Gemini machine.